Welcome back. Let's get started right away. On a six inch wooden dowel, we're gonna attach all 10 cords using a lark's head knot. To make a lark's head knot, fold your cord in half, and then with the loop end, place it behind your wooden dowel, and then pull the tail ends through the loop. This mermaid pattern is a part of my Your Request series, so if you have a request, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Now let's take a look at our pattern and I'll tell you how to read it. It's really quite simple. Each square represents a vertical double half inch knot in that color and we start from left to right. Now for our working cords, I'm using yarn and you wanna make sure your yarn is half the diameter of your filler cord. So to make a vertical double half hitch knot, you place your yarn behind your first cord, you make a loop on your right, and then wrap your long tail end around and through the loop. This is only half of your vertical double half hitch knot, so to complete it, we have to repeat the same thing and make a loop on our right, wrap our tail end around and through the loop, and that completes our knot. And if you find that I'm going too fast for you, feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Since the first knot always looks a little bit different, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the second knot. So make sure your yarn is behind your filler cord, wrap your tail in around and through the loop. Then you wanna cinch up the slack all the way up to the top. And then you wanna repeat one more time by making a loop on your right wrap your tail end around and through the loop. Once you have completed your row, we're gonna take the same strand of yarn and we're gonna go back in the opposite direction. So to do this, we're gonna make a loop on our left this time, wrap your tail end around and through the loop and repeat one more time. Jumping ahead, as you can see, I work from left to right and then right to left. And now I'm on the third row and we need to switch out the colors. So leave your white strand where it is and we're gonna grab a second strand of yarn and we're gonna attach it just the same way as we did right at the very start of this project. And if you ever run out of length of your yarn, this is the same way we're gonna add another piece. And on a side note, I like to work with 60 inch strands of yarn at one time. I find that's the perfect length because it's short enough not to tangle, but long enough to tie a lot of knots. Okay, so to switch back to your white, you're gonna drop your pink cord, pick up your previous white cord, and you're gonna run it behind the filler cords and on top of your pink strands. Then just place it underneath the next strand of filler cord and you're gonna continue tying your vertical double half hitch knots just as you were before. Once you've zigzagged all the way down, we're gonna flip it over to the back and clean up the mess on the back. Grab any two ends that are close together and we're gonna tie a double overhand knot. Now this isn't the most professional way to finish off the back of your wall hanging, but with small projects like this, I think it's just fine. Now, if you're interested in learning how to professionally finish off the back of your wall hanging, I'll leave the link to that tutorial on the screen now. Also, if you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.